Okay. So finishing up the one that we did in class today. If we look at our triangle and we know that this is a fixed angle, 40 degrees, and these two sides, one of them has to be 9.5 and one of them has to be 7, we realize that there might be two triangles that could work with this. A triangle where the 7 comes out this way and you have an acute triangle or a triangle where the 7, and I'll put it in pencil, goes in this way and you'll have an obtuse triangle. So how do we figure that out? Well, we do the sign, the law of signs. We do our plain old law of signs and we get an actual answer for 60.7. If you want to pause this and look through that to see the work that I did, we did that in class already, but you can look, at th look through it again. Okay, so one thing that we didn't discuss is really why do we know that there might be a second triangle? One of the reasons why we know that is because this is the side-side angle case. When the angle is not included in the two sides, this is when we're going to look for two triangles. So the first triangle we found, we found, we know that this is 40 degrees A, and we know that C is 60.7 degrees because we did the law of sines. And in order to find that third angle, we just know that we, we subtract um, the sum from 180 and we get that third angle. So this is one of those triangles. And that would be this big one here where the three angles are acute. So now we're going to look for the next triangle. And in order to do that, we just have to understand that the reference angle is 60.7 degrees. And we know that the sine ratio has two positive values in both, I'll just redraw it, in the first quadrant and the second quadrant. So this goes to 180 degrees. So I know that I'm going to have two angle measures that fall in the value of 0.8724. So what is that other angle measure? Well, if 60.7 is the reference angle, then in order to find the other angle that's in the second quadrant, we just do 180 minus the reference angle, okay, because we know that reference angles all have to be under 90 degrees, and we get 119 degrees, 119.3 degrees, and that is our C. So that's our new scenario, and that is this triangle where it's an obtuse triangle. So, of course, if even though these two are the same size, if this is an obtuse angle now, B is going to be a much smaller angle. And again, if I have two angles of a triangle, I still just subtract 180 from this total. I mean, the total from 180, and I get 20.7 degrees. So these are the two triangles that work when we have the side-side angle case. So I'm going to do one more for you. Now this triangle is pretty clear, right? I'll make it a little closer. And I know that I can use the sine, uh, the law of sines, excuse me, the law of sines. So I know that my sine of 39 over 28 equals, now I know I have to find R, okay? The sine of R over 41. And with my calculator, I know that the sine of R is going to equal sine 39 times 41 divided by 28. And I do that in my calculator, and I get 0.9215. All right, and then I do the inverse of that. and I get approximately, I'm going to say approximately 67 degrees. I'm just going to call it a whole number just for now. Okay? So again, I'm going to go through and I'm going to write in my scenarios. So triangle number one is when um, S, we don't know it yet, T is 39 degrees, and R, we just figured it out, is 67 degrees. 
So what's S? S is going to be 74 degrees, right? Did I do that right? Let's make, let's make sure. 74 plus 39 plus 67 should equal 180, and it does, okay? So this is my first scenario. But again, remember, R is going to be a reference angle for a second angle because, again, we have to remember that sine is positive in the first two quadrants, okay? This is 180 degrees. Remember, this is theta, okay? So that means that in the first quadrant, I have a 67 degree angle, okay? But in the second quadrant, my reference angle is 67, so what is my theta? And that's going to be 180 minus 67. And 180 minus 67 is 113. Would you agree with that? Okay. So that means my second triangle, S, I don't know, T is fixed, 39 degrees. My R in this case is 113 degrees. So what's my new S? Well, I just have to do the math. 113 plus 39, subtract, that's 152. So 180 minus 152 is 28. And su such that we can see we have our acute triangle and our obtuse triangle. And this is how you use the sign, the law of signs, in order to find your two triangles.